as well. I like that. Right, into another demonstration. What are we going to do? We're going to use the roses. Oh, nice. Okay, so again, quite oh, basic one, but basic it uses one. the vellum, mm. and obviously you could put a bit of bling on there, a bit of ribbon, whatever What's you really like. What's really nice, all the demos you've done so far, Jenny. They're all really different in style. Yeah. You know, we had the scarecrow, the one that you just made with the flourishes. This is completely different in style, isn't it? But yeah, that's that's the point of our stamps. Mm -hmm. They'll they'll do it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lovely. All right. So let's jump in. Right. Okay. I'm using watercolor card for this one, oh, okay. and the aqua markers. Telling you, I before I like aqua markers. Yeah. And what I've done, I've actually rounded off the the, the card. Corners. Okay. And I've just used the corner rounder for that. You okay. just put it in, punch, and it will soften the edge. In terms of construction uh, or configuration, does that help because it's quite a soft image and watercolour image? When you lose the sharp corners, does that soften the whole effect of the I card? I think so. I mm. think it looks quite, you know, um, I mean, both are nice, mm -hmm. but on this one, I just just wanted to soften it slightly. Now, both of these have been watercolored. Mm. Both use vellum. Now, the vellum in that on this one, Anna did this one. You can see what I was saying. Bit of ribbon, bit of really, ribbon there as well. really so sort of softens it. There we go. Um, so the vellum has been put in both cases through um, a, an embossing, a, embossing with an embossing folder through, Fine, gotcha. you know. Big shot, grand caliber, couple of bug, big grand caliber, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and in this case, um, what um, Anna's done, she's used cosmic shimmer, and then she's just patted it, patted it. So um, the raised bits have caught the sheen. Okay. This one I've just left plain. Right. Okay. Um, so, but it also looks nice Ooh, if you do white lovely. embossing. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. gorgeous. So really um, nice. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you both. Well, no, I won't show you both because I haven't got a machine here. Okay. But um, to do this one, all you do is you cut your your paper, your vellum, the same size, and then just tear it in half. Yeah. And then that will make two cards. So you tear it oh, from yes. corner to corner, put it through the machine, and then that's how the background is done. Very or good. you could even put it over the top, just soften your yeah, picture that's if nice, you've done yeah. very strong colours. Of course. Beautiful. But we'll do it. The other way, we'll use the, the white, embossing. white embossing. Wonderful. There we go. Okay, so let's start with the picture. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a grey pad instead of a black because a it gives you a pad. it gives you a softer image. Okay. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be grey. I don't Look, think I've my, seen a grey pad before. That's my. Whoop. That's right. Listen, sign of a true crafter. That's yeah, fine. it is. Um, right. Okay. So I'm doing my work. Actually, I'll do my. Do as I say, not as I do. Fine. Remember right, that. I'm going to do my flower first because then I can position my wording better. Okay. And all I'm doing is just stamping so that I get it all onto the, the card. Mm -hmm. And I've got a very soft outline. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, I will do my wording now. Because these are waterproof, it doesn't matter what I do over the top. Um, but can you see how soft that is compared yeah. with the very yes. strong black? absolutely. Okay. So now I'm just going to start colouring, okay. and I'm going to put a few colours of aqua markers. I wonder why you had here. this here, the yeah. ceramic tile. I just, you know, just find it difficult to get through a whole show without using That's aqua fine. markers. I what I, 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 or, or my water colouring. You know, I, I do go back to it. I do mm -hmm. love my water colouring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will do me. Um, I've got so. You can use your colours direct. So, for instance, if I'm using something like the eggshell, that will just give you a lovely, soft mm -hmm, look. Mm -hmm. So we just do some of the flowers. I want this one very soft, but yep. obviously you can do it um, as strong coloured as you like. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I'm just colouring some bits in direct there. And mm -hmm. before I go any further... Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress my edges. Okay. And um, the last one I did green. This time I'm using <laughs> sponge sugar. Excuse me. Now, <sighs> just, Sorry, to just for a change. I was trying to disguise that, Jay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> very disguised, very well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. It's um, so I'm just softening the edges. It's just so that then I don't have to colour the whole lot. Having said that, it's very easy to colour your paper with the aqua markers. You just scribble the colour on there, right, spritz okay. with water, lay the paper down, allow the paper to dry, and then you can stamp over the top. But okay. just I want this one quite soft, so I'm just literally 
just putting a tiny bit of colour on there. Mm -hmm. There we are, that will do me. It's just to take the whiteness of the card off. So I'm just going to pick up my green and just paint in. Are we all right for time? We are fine for time. So are we going to get the fourth demo in? Well, because we might do. It's quite a nice quick one. OK. If, if, um, if, we've got, if we've, we're... Got, we've got, in total, we've got just under seven minutes. Oh, right, OK. So you'll, you'll have to be the best That's judge. That's pushing it then. OK. OK, well, I'll try and do this one as quickly as I can. OK. And, OK. So... Um, I'm just colouring in. I would obviously take a little bit more time if I had it. This is what I find relaxing. Um, it's very easy to colour, but you switch off completely. So what I'm doing here mm -hmm. is I'm just putting a wash over the whole thing. Okay. And then I will intensify the colour in some areas. Right, okay. This is watercolour paper, which does give you the best effect with your aqua markers. Okay. Um, and it will dry very slightly um, lighter than it looks here. Well, yes, it, it dries like what you would expect a watercolour to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's just get a little bit of colour on. At high speed here. Yes, there we course. are. So there's my wash, my initial wash. So I've taken the whiteness of the card off. Allow it to dry for a moment or two, and yeah. then you can go in and you can just add sort of dimension where you want it. Lovely. And and so on. Okay. But uh, ideally, wait for it to dry first. Sure. And there we are. You can. I'm, I've done it very quickly because it would be nice to get another demo Ooh. in. Okay. Lovely. Well, listen, I'll tell you what then, if we're going to jump into another demonstration, can we give you some more stock updates? Need to let you know because um, there's some quite dangerous positions on a number of them. Um, let's start off with um, the Roses Collection. 30% of the stock of the Roses Collection stamp set has gone at £8.99. Remember, this is Jenny's only show today, so I'm thinking these stock updates, the shows will be repeated overnight. All of these stamps could go today, no problem. Then moving on to... Uh, the birthday, 60% um, of the stock of the birthday has gone, so there's every chance that could sell out this morning. Um, £8.99, that's 248243. The flourishes, 70% of the stock of the flourishes have gone. Um, again, nine stamps in there, £8.99, that's 248244. The Scarecrow, three quarters, 75% of the stock has gone, at £8.99, that's 248246. And the beauty, remember that's back in stock today, 50% of the stock of that one has gone. It's 242536, the item number. Right. Right, what I'm doing is just to show you, you um, if you want to stamp onto vellum, um, ideally use, <laughs> it's here somewhere, um, use talcum powder or um, you can buy an anti-static uh, buster, which oh, is, is a little bag. Wipe that over. It's right beside me. Thank you. <laughs> Magic Hands went and got this for me specially. Oh, and really? He obviously saw where I put it. Right but if you Very put good. that over first, before you stamp, yep. it removes any static and you won't get speckles because okay. it's even more important with white embossing powder okay. than it is with normal embossing powders okay. because, you know, you can get speckles quite easily. So okay. do one of those two things. Mm -hmm. I've chanced it. Um, so I've just stamped a, a pattern using the Versamark at first the mark pad which mm -hmm. is the watermark pad yep. and uh, as usual get yourself into a good position so that you can see you know good light and as it melts just move on i just think it's and so dramatic I, I it think it's is a great look. yeah especially if you're doing sort of you i mean it's lovely on vellum mm -hmm. um there's the finished thing so i want to do get in another sample Certainly. i'll stick that together later mm -hmm. um you know i Darken the edges a little bit on this, and I'd put a bit of bling on there, you know, maybe even a ribbon round. Yes, that'd be lovely. You can be it? as feminine as you like with the mm -hmm. roses, mm -hmm. but I also wanted to show you using the happy birthday set. Okay. I'm in a bit of a muddle here, so excuse my 